Keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I have got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault and over the cane. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. <laughs> Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. Come on. I can't let you leave. Jump for it. It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. 
Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. to the Cooper vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I projected. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head to the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing here is that if you don't have line of sight, the waypoint will automatically stretch above whatever's blocking your view. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Nice, one down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks.
We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. That massive dope marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Is that you? Hey, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come around here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for me, man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Polita! Wait! <laughs> it 
If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free, and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut, ladies on this. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of there, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, please. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cost, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. I can see, da! I can see! Ah, oh, jeez. You look a lot better in the dark, Petrov. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> this is sucking. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Good. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Murray. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left end. I'll do like I promised, and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him, man. And I'm out. got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. <laughs> Sooner or later, you're mine. 
again! Hope that manhole works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Marie, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on, I'm on a real spirit quest here. Sorry, sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? towards your position. Great. You want me to take him? No. We need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that, I don't know, attractive? Hold up. Here he comes. It's despicable. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. Use your binocular to take photos. Excellent. A few more of these and the cops will bury this guy. Follow him. He might be headed... for some more polluting. Oh, Remy 
Consolatido, Dota la sopa mi rego. I got a shadow, huh? You stink! Back in my day, thieves knew how not to get a caught. He's on the move again. Keep it up, Sly. This is some great work. There's no tar anywhere! 
Yet. Get a photo anyway. He's doing something, but what? I, I can't believe it! He flooded that aquarium with tar! All those poor dead fish! As much as I hate to see what heinous crime this fiend will do next, you should probably keep on his tail. Someday the people will know the truth due to your pictures. Guys, a me. Get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. This energy of me. This Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pump on the tar fast. Nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Well, uh, when the people come to see me sing, I want to make a show. They keep a coming. Even if they don't feel like it. One way or the other, there'll be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, seriously. That thief! He's twisted a time-honored amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing. Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. Kill a bunch of poor innocent fish, will he? That'll do it. This opera house is Octavio's base of operation. Nice place. Sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you can get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the dirt on his operation. Okay. Have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch appears to be an ideal way to slip in undetected. Head down there and we'll meet up in a few minutes. Octavio is known to rely on 3D technology to secure his property. In order to see the security measures, we'll need to utilize these depth optimizer goggles. Functional and fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley. To open this door, we'll need to press the 3D security buttons at exactly the same time, okay? On my three. One, two, three. Nice.
Looks like Octavio is fond of this 3D synchronized security system. Let's do it. One, two, three. All right. Drat, my booster won't be enough to make it to that next door. I've made a number of improvements to my wheelchair, but none that can float me through this canal. Don't worry about it, pal. I'm sure I'll find a way across. And there seem to be plenty of boats hanging around to make a nice bridge for you. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Thanks for the assist, Sly. Maybe I can return the favor with some well-placed explosives. Okay, stand back. Thanks, pal. made of four-inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. My bombs won't make a dent. See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. from the security, we must be getting close. It's live!
This door is made of four-inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. My bombs won't make a dent. See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. Thanks, pal. Judging from the security, we must be getting close. It's live! Synchronize watches and one, two, three. We're in. Yes, a Wurlitzer 700. I can splice into this easy. Just as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's the important thing. Aside from a few tense moments, that break-in seemed to go pretty well. It's not over yet. Hack the system and let's get out of here. Oh, it'll be a snap extracting the details on Octavio's operation from this old dinosaur. Wh what? A delay switch? Sorry, Sly. Guess the dinosaur has teeth. I'll hack as fast as I can. Watch my back. There are sure to be guards on the way. He told us! He told us! He told us! I've almost got it. They told us. So close. Download complete. Now we can find out exactly what Octavio is up to. Hey, Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. 
We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hot-wired by the time I get there. <laughs> Let's see. Just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! Just in time. There go the vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. This canal is packed with shipping. Make sure to jump and leave or we're so sorry, Sly. My gun overheated. Guess I should use short burst. Another uneventful patrol. This city's beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. So, according to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping car from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincenetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs.